Hey, 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 greetings and salutations to you people of the interwebs. So it's that most wonderful time of the year. Um, yeah, it's bloody Christmas-ish. It's December. It's close enough. And I've been picking up a few of the uh, Star Wars Black Series figures. And this year I seem to have picked up more holiday edition figures than I have of the actual regular line. So we're going to... Um, open these up for you today and just kind of get into the Christmas mood um, before I use them uh, as decorations around the house. So first up we have the Jawa and Salacious Crumb and uh, we're going to open these up uh, like, I say, like I say. It's a very curious thing um, that, that, you know, that just so many, like, Star Wars kind of Christmas figures. They just decided, we're going to do lots of holiday edition figures. Uh, I mean, in terms of toys, that lines that do this, there was a um, Optimus Prime, a festive edition of Optimus Prime. But other than that, no, I mean... That, None of the other kind of Hasbro lines tend to do this. I could be completely wrong. Um, so I've had a Jawa before. Um, not like that. I've, I mean, I've, I've, I have a Jawa figure. But this one, obviously, you know, they've... It's got the, the, the you know, the, the, the cloak. And just doing it in red with this white trim... He's just, that's just absolutely perfect. That's just brilliant. Um, yeah. Does it come off? No, it's plugged into the top of his head. But yeah, just a little, a lot of the idea. And then, you know, he's got the red trim. He's got, he's got red trousers on underneath his, uh, if you want to look under Jawa's cloak, but there you go. And his little stun gun thing is painted up like a Nerf gun. So it's, you know, white with the orange. This is a toy safety cap on. And I presume you can hold this. Uh, I wouldn't say very well, because... It's got a bit of a, a bent end, so we can um, go out and we can go and find some droids to uh, be Christmas presents for you. <laughs> I like the idea of there being a, this Santa-like guy who's going out, essentially... On the rob to go and get some uh, some presents for people. <laughs> like, <a cow> <laughs> so yeah, and he's got his uh, holster in brown that this can fit into, like so. Yeah, that's just a. Uh, a marvellous uh, Christmas edition. Of course, uh, well, like the regular Jawas, we were at regular um, retail prices. <laughs> and just, you know, there you go, it's a Jawa, the same price as, you know, the other, some of the other Black Series figures. They've actually included another guy to make it up to the price point, and it is Scalacious Crumb. Scalacious Crumb? Yeah. But they've done it in the Grinch's colour scheme. And that is just uh, inspired genius. Um, he's got a few points of articulation. And he's just a little little Grinchy goblin. And that is uh, that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. It's just so... Um, that's just a lot of fun. That's just a fun set. That's just a fun set of figures. 
uh, to have uh, as your Christmas decorations. So I like about this is because, you know, we all have toys up on display and stuff like that. Well, I say we all. Yeah, we all do. I don't know you. Um, I don't know your circumstances. But we have little displays. And I like the idea of having a display of action figures that I only put up for a month of a year. And then it just goes all goes away again. And then comes back out again. And it just makes them a little bit more special than the rest of the stuff. Uh, I just, yeah. I dig that. So next up we have an Ewok with a Porg. Um, Ewoks are... I, I like Ewoks. We've not got enough Ewoks. I think like the only other Black Series figure I have really bought this year is Wicket because, you know... Return of the Jedi is my favourite Star Wars movie. It's, Return of the Jedi is my Star Wars movie. Um, it's the one that I remember going watching in the cinema as a kid. And so I think it's the one that I'm most emotionally attached to. And yeah, the Ewoks were this silly gimmick of these really kind of slightly out of place, just teddy bears. Yeah, you know, cannibalistic teddy bears. Um, that just existed and were comic relief. And, you know, I can see why a lot of people kind of dislike them. But I was of the age at the time where they were just brilliant. They were brilliant. They were brilliant. I was the target of all, I was the target audience at that time for um, Ewoks. And so we've got this white guy. This like a, a bombable snowman with his green hood. Looking festive. With his hood. Tail. I'm not going to be pretend to be expert enough to tell you which Ewok this was um, based on, or his name. I believe he's the guy who pilots the, uh, steals the land, uh, the land speeder, the bike, the air land bike, the, the air bike, the bike, speeder bike, speeder bike. We got there in the end. Um, well, here is just an adorable little... Just the Black Series Ewoks are just they are they're, they're brilliant. They're brilliant. They just got these little random bits of of articulation. You know, I think sometimes they articulate more than you know the regular figures. So they articulate more than you think they should because they're just these big, you know, fuzzballs, little fuzzballs, and just the 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 hands and the feet. And, and so he's got like little blue, like Yeti ish. Hands, it was blue lips. So he's like a an Ewok with slits, froze to death, maybe. Um, and whereas, like all the other figures who have guns and stuff like that, they've done like safety versions of it. He's just got a pointy stick. He's still just got a pointy stick because he's an Ewok, and the savage little bastards. <laughs> and he's like, we're not, we're not. We're not chilling out for the holiday season. We're still just being as lethal little shits as we um, as we are in the regular time. You know, he's got a knife at his hip and he's got a, a pointy stick. And with a pointy stick, you can defeat stormtroopers. It's it's easy. It's easy. So to um, kind of increase his value, as it were, we get this non. Articulated Porg in white. It'd have been just nice to just been painted him up like a fully cooked Christmas turkey, but um, I can see why they wouldn't do that. And a little gift box. So that's quite cool. You can open that up, and there's just green stuff inside. So I presume this was probably um, from Mars Kanata, uh, is that her name? Where um, Luke's lightsaber was, probably in that box. Uh, there's not enough room because of the, uh, the plastic inside details that um, to fit anything, which is a bit of a shame. It would be really nice to actually just 
remove all that junk because it's not, you know, it's not festive related and it's just casting green plastic. It's not really painted up anything like special presents. We're going to sneeze. No, oh, right. But yeah, so we've got a little that, little box, little pog, little Ewok. So we just got a couple of little Christmas guys. Well, three little Christmas guys. And that's not all we got. So yeah, I've, I've got a few stormtroopers and uh, you know um, the different styles. So I wanted this year to you know get some of the different ones. And so we've got this K. X security droid like K2SO and um, he comes with oh my gosh I can't remember the name from the Jedi like Survivor um, computer games the little droid Cal Castus has on his back little adorable thing we've got a Christmas version of that little cute droid which you know you can't complain at so it's a little, it's a, it's a little droid pack here so we've gone from little guys to a big guy and he is oh I thought that was um bendy wire it's weird I find that you know Hasbro as a toy company There's just so many different, even though know, essentially you have these like packaged, you know, boxes that are pretty much almost the same size as throughout the six inch figures, you know, for the Marvel and for the um, G.I. Joe and the Star Wars. But then like some of the, like, these must have been created before we went plastic free. Um... Even though, you know, everything else is, is just plastic free at the moment. We have, do have the plastic boxes on here. So I'm just looking if there's anything on here that says. Um, what this. Plastic is made of. Because there is now you can get biodegradable plastic. So. I think is science and stuff is. is continue to involve the um we can move away from having to have windowless boxes so but you know we've got these windowed boxes but again it's like the, they've got these kind of clamshells that that go like so um and the the figures are held quite tightly within whereas other figures are just have a even when they did plastic packaging they'd have a piece of plastic and the figure would be like uh twisty tied in rather than just rather than just being the the mold of the the plastic conformed to the shape of the figure and that's just within the same company but with just different um toy lines so it's kind of weird that they kind of get that You know what I mean? But there's no kind of... It's like each division has um, different kind of processes for doing the packaging. Whereas you think that maybe that you'd have all the moulding and the licensing and all that type of stuff handled and making of the figures. And then there'd be one like packaging department. But no, it looks like every department has their own like packaging and, and you know... Maybe even, you know, scoping out different factories and stuff like that to work at. So, that would you said, suggest to me. So, he's a big old guy. I love the, the proportions of this figure. I've always wanted one. And I've seen some on sale occasionally. And I've gone, oh, I'll get one of those. But I've not really got anything else from Rogue One. So, it'd just be a bit weird. Because uh, most of my figures are either from Rebels or the original trilogy. So... It'd just be a bit of a weird get to have um, just a random assassin droid. But I can indulge in this in my, you know, one month a year um, Star Wars holiday special um, display. They, you know, they might even just be guys just sat in the Christmas tree, you know what I mean? It's just uh, 
love the little um, snow effect, little snowflake. It's kind of um, roughly based on, you know, the, the imperial symbol, but it's a snowflake because, as far as I can see online, on the time, these right wing people call people snowflakes when they're actually the most sensitive, precious little fuckers going. Um, yep, I said it, I said it. Keep politics out of Star Wars? Well, shit, son. It's always been the it's rebels and empires and shit like that, so it's always. We can't keep the politics out of it because it's. Lots of politics is what it's about. Um, yeah, so he's got he's got this big old assassin droid, and he's got the tiniest gun. Like, oh gee, thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna go and assassinate people with that. And again, it's in the white. The orange cap, safety, nerf, uh, can't blast himself in the face with it. <laughs> uh, Christmas tail, there goes his eye. Um, yeah, so, love this guy. Uh, yeah, I do like the articulation, I like all the big long limbs on it. It's excellent, excellent. I like the little bit of detail in the back, it's reminiscent of the, the same um, style as. Uh, as stormtroopers, so there's a lot of kind of imperialness in the design that you know the Imperials use on their armor and they've used on this droid, and then a completely different droid is this little companion. Yeah, oh, man. it's not BB 8, but he's got an adorable little. Name, let me know in the comments what his name is. You know, uh, I probably it'll probably kick myself, but it'll also help drive engagements, <laughs> boost my algorithms by telling me why I'm wrong, uh, not knowing what this fella's name is. Here he is in blue and white, uh, festive colors, apparently. Um, yeah, he's cool, he's cool, he's a little. Cool little festive droid. So I'm, I'm glad I've got these guys. Um, is a little bizarre niche Star Wars figures. That it's kind of just it just seems it's bizarre. It's a bizarre. It's a bizarreness for me that we have these. Uh, that these exist. But I'm glad they do, and um, it certainly um, brighten the place. Up a little bit just in time for Christmas. Anyway, until the next time, I've been me. Uh, you, despite your existential crisis, have also been you. Remember, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. And because you deserve it, let's. Uh... Oh, I said I was going to stop doing this, but we're not. Bump the fist! <laughs> Reach out! Touch the screen! Bestow! Fisto!